So here we're looking at solar eclipses. First I'm going to find a solar eclipse. So I'm going to change the date here. And I want to have a specific one. I might as well use the next American one, August 21st, 2017. That will be visible from the continental United States, a total solar eclipse. So let's go ahead. Okay, so let's look at Earth and Moon. We're on the Sun, on a surface that is at a temperature of 11,000 Fahrenheit, looking with a powerful telescope towards Earth and the Moon. And we're not starting in August of 2017, but in February 2017, and I'll be advancing the frames one day at a time, and then month over month, and so on, and see what happens to the orbit of the Moon. So let's get going. So here the Moon and the Earth a day later. Notice that it went right behind Earth, which means we have a lunar eclipse on February 11th, 2017. I'm not interested at that point here at this one. We'll talk about it when we get to lunar eclipses. So let's go on. So two weeks later, there's the Moon again and on February 26 we have a solar eclipse in the southern Atlantic. That's half a year before we get our August eclipse and it's also paired with a lunar eclipse. They always come in pairs, so let's go on to the next month. So here comes the Moon again. Notice that it orbits too high, so which means during this full Moon here we don't have a lunar eclipse. And two weeks later, notice that during this new moon, we don't have a solar eclipse. And again, too high, no lunar eclipse. Too low, no solar eclipse. So as you can see, because of the inclination of the moon's orbit, that's why we only have solar and lunar eclipses every six months, but the five months in between, the moon is either orbiting too high or too low, giving us a normal full moon or a normal new moon. You might see the day jumping there a little bit. That's because I don't want to use up too many frames, too much resolution, and make the file too big. I hope that works. Whoops, that was a little quick. Whoa, what happened here? That's why I guess there was a um, some kind of interesting object in between. Let me just look at that, what that is. This looks like the Pleiades. No, something else. Anyway, okay, so now we're in June. Well, we can see that the orbit of the Moon is getting closer again. We also can see that it's now tilted towards the sides, so the higher and lower is getting out of the way, and soon it's going to cross in front of the Earth and behind the Earth. Okay, that's it's late July. Now it gets interesting. Ooh, that was almost a lunar eclipse. And there it is. That's actually the solar eclipse we're going to look at in a moment. I'm going to go forward here so we can catch the lunar eclipse. Did I just say lunar eclipse? I hope not. So this is the solar eclipse that we're looking at, that we want to look at, but I'm going to go another 14 days forward so we catch the accompanying lunar eclipse, and then I'm going to go back and we're going to look at it in detail. So that looked like it crossed it. I'm going to go back here. There we go, but uh, pretty low lunar eclipse.